welcome to the Take Your Apprenticeship podcast. The Take Your Place team is made up of five universities and nine further education colleges from across the east of England. We are an impartial project dedicated to giving you the information you need, regardless of where you're applying to study. Since 2017, we have worked with over 30,000 students from 100 different schools, colleges and sick forms, helping them to explore their options and discover their potential. Now, we hope to help you too. In this podcast series, we will explore all aspects of finding, applying for and succeeding in an apprenticeship. Through talking to experts and current apprentices from a variety of industries, we will help you explore your future apprenticeship options. In this episode, I spoke to Helen Clements, who works as a community investment advisor for Morgan Sindel Construction. We spoke about Morgan Sindel's apprenticeship programme, as well as the wide range of opportunities within construction industries. As with all our conversations in this series, our interviews are recorded remotely, so you might hear some background office and working from home noises. Don't forget to check out the Take Your Place resource website at takeyourplace.ac.uk slash resources for more university and apprenticeship information. I'm joined today by Helen Clements at Morgan Sindel Construction, who offer apprenticeships. Thank you for joining us today, Helen. Could you start by telling us a little bit about your role? My role is a community investment advisor, which means I look after social value on our projects to make sure that we do added value in the communities that we build in and make sure that we look at things like environment, the social impact that we're having and the economic impact that we're doing can have in those communities. Brilliant. Thank you. Helen is joining me today to talk about apprenticeships that Morgan Sindel offer. Would you be able to explain a little bit about what Morgan Sindel do and what type of jobs there are in this area? We are what you call a main contractor, which means we manage the process of a build. We don't actually build anything. We get other companies in to do that bit for us. And therefore, the types of roles that we recruit for are what we call white collar technical roles. So it's things like quantity surveyor, design manager, estimator, planner, site engineer. And we look for people that want to manage the process of a build really so whether if you're numbers focused you'll go for the quantity surveying or the estimating role but if you're more hands-on you might want to go more the operational side which is site management site engineer that might be how you decide which way you go. Brilliant, thank you. And could you give us an example of some of the apprenticeship vacancies that you offer and the different levels of qualifications? Each year we recruit for degree level apprentices and we normally do one site management and one quantity surveying. However, it doesn't really matter which one you go, you you need to sort of have a preference, but all apprentices go through a rotation with us. So all of the job roles that I mentioned before, you do six months on each of those, get a flavour of which role you really want to do, and then you specialise at the end of your degree in which one it is you want to follow. Degrees a four slash five year degree, so a day a week at uni and four days working for us. And from that, once you've completed your degree in the new world of apprenticeship standards, you also get the chartered status whichever it goes with so for site management it's construction management and in QSing it's called RICS so um, and from there once you've qualified at the age of so you'll probably be about 24 by then and you become an assistant whichever one of the job roles that you've gone for And then it's quite realistic, you know, within a couple of years of being qualified, you will move through to being fully fledged, whichever role you've chosen. And if you work hard, take on additional responsibilities, there's absolutely no reason that by the time you're 30, you're not in a senior, one of those job roles, earning a salary of 60k. Brilliant. Thank you. Sounds like you get a really good flavour of all the different roles in the company through an apprenticeship. And what are the entry qualification requirements for some of these apprenticeships? Can students apply straight from school after doing their GCSEs? Or is it more beneficial to go to college or sixth form before applying? So because it's a degree level apprenticeship, you need to have four GCSEs, grade four and above, of which maths and English must be two of those four. You need two A levels of grade C and above or a level three qualification. Now, there's no preference as to which A levels or level three qualification you've done, but it does sort sort of need to link so it could be economics it could be geography it could be engineering it could be the new t level that's come out or a maths or a science based one it needs to sort of link somehow to the industry when an apprentice is on a placement for a construction course what type of situations and experiences might they do that they won't necessarily have done in a classroom 
what will happen is that whichever element of your rotation on will determine where you are. But for example, so we've got a new apprentice, we've got three new apprentices, but I've just been talking about one who's starting on an Essex project and she'll spend six months doing um, quantity surveying. That project is a seven and a half million pound project. So she will be based on site working with senior people who will mentor and develop her skills to become a quantity surveyor. And she will be looking after some of the packages of that seven and a half million pound budget that we've got. So she'll be going out on site doing measuring up and, and learning from colleagues who've been doing it either for years and from other apprentices that we have within the business. Mm, and I guess that's the beauty of an apprenticeship as you are working alongside those colleagues with huge experience. Yeah and for us because we recruit apprentices every year there's always an apprentice that's just the year ahead of you if that makes sense. So actually across the east of England we've now got 13 apprentices and, and you will always have them to go to as well as people that have been with the business or in the industry years and years. We have an actual senior manager that is a mentor so he gets the apprentices to together bi-monthly they either meet so in the old world they'd have met on site currently we're meeting by teams and and they talk about how they're doing sharing experiences they get guest speakers to hear about others from in and around the business that they might not bump into quite naturally when they're on site so it's a really good supportive wraparound apprenticeship scheme that we have because we want you to succeed because you are our future new line managers. What type of strength and skills would be ideal for someone choosing to go down this pathway? Actually, this is not just this pathway. It's any, you you need to be really wanting to learn. For our sector, you want to make a difference. You know, we're really lucky. We work in a sector that builds buildings and all buildings leave a legacy. be something that you'll see long after you're retired. So you need to care about what you're doing because of the impact that it has on the customers. You know, I've just come out of an SEND school that we we're building in Ipswich. We've built some kitchen facilities where the students will get to learn to cook independently. Well, that's huge impact. So we need to deliver those kitchens to be suitable to do that and actually care that it's going to make that difference. Would you recommend someone trying to get work experience before putting in an application? And if so, what types of work experience are you or similar companies able to offer? I highly recommend work experience. And again, I recommend that for any industry that you go into. But we actually have evidence in the part of the business I work in that young people that have had education engagement with us and have had work experience with us go on to fill our vacancies. So 70% of the last four years, young people that have joined us have had some form of education engagement engagement and 60% of them had had work experience with us. Pre-March, um, work experience was done. I, we have two types. We have site-based work experience, which tends to be college students because they will have done some form of construction learning already. And then we had project student groups that came and did their work experience from the office, but still touching on the things that would be done on site and they'd go out and do a site visit. Since March, we have moved all of that experience to being virtual. And this is actually how we're going to be continuing to deliver work experience. So all young people, your first work experience with us as Morgan Sindel would be virtually and you get given a project week you'll be working in teams take on different job roles you'll get to go and visit a site that will be done virtually but the site manager is there with us so you get as near to real tour as you possibly could and there's other activities that we do during the week and then on the Friday you do a presentation by doing that work experience it gives you lots of skills that you may already have but you hadn't necessarily been aware that you had it raises their self-belief and their confidence levels we've touched on this a little bit already but in your opinion what are the main benefits of doing an apprenticeship the biggest thing you get is earning as you learn so rather going off to full-time uni still get to get to your degree you will have the support of a number of mentors around you and like i said earlier some of those will be people that are just the year ahead of you and others will be people that have been in the industry 30 years plus you'll also get that hands-on experience that you won't get if you go off to uni full-time and when you join a company like ours you'll get good benefits package so you'll get paid holiday you'll get pension there's regular salary reviews there's discount websites so there's a whole host of things that you get Um, we also do company car slash car allowance you'll get your laptop your mobile and you'll also have that knowledge of industry because you're doing the practical as well as the theory 
and that increases your confidence levels. Where is the best place to look to see current apprenticeship vacancies and is there a specific time of year when certain positions are available? Our vacancies tend to go live during October and they close around March, middle of March normally, and they are on the Morgan Sindel Careers website. So if you just Google Morgan Sindel Construction Careers, then it will take you to our main website. Um, and then if you just if you just put in a search apprenticeships, then any of our apprenticeships that are, are being offered across Morgan Sindel Group will come up, and then you'll be able to find the local ones to you. Um, I have been told they are due to go live in the next two weeks. We've already spoken a little bit about a salary, which is a brilliant aspect to apprenticeships. Could you tell us a little bit more about salaries and benefits that different apprenticeships offer? Our apprenticeships will offer a competitive salary and our package also includes car allowance or company car, which at entry level is something like, I don't know, BMW Series 1, Mercedes A-Class. So quite a nice vehicle as your first vehicle. We get 25 days holiday and you also get the option to buy an additional week as well, which again is very beneficial. After a year of being with us, you get private health care and there's a discount website that we can access. So with any apprenticeship, there's an element of studying as well as being on placement. Generally, how does the studying element of the course work and is there a training provider that you use? It depends whether you go for our site management or whether you go for our quantity surveying. So quantity surveying is delivered by Anglia Ruskin based in Chelmsford. They are are at the moment doing virtual delivery um, when it goes back to some sort of normality then it will be delivered in the classroom and you'll do a day a week our site management one at the moment that is now being delivered by virtual delivery from a university or a training provider based in London and we are trying to influence getting a local training provider. Could someone doing a higher level apprenticeship with Morgan Sindel expect to be offered a job at the end of the course? Our expectation is that they do stay with us. We invest quite a lot of money in our apprentices so the salary and their training means that our expectation is that they do join us and you know we've got people that are now at director level that have come through that route so there's a career with Morgan Sindel and that's the whole point of it is that we're looking for our future leaders. Thank you so much for joining me today Helen. Before you go do you have any final top tips for someone looking to apply for an apprenticeship in construction? Okay so my top tips get out there networking, use LinkedIn as a way to get yourself a business profile, talk to people like myself and get most out of those work experience opportunities whether they're virtual or in person. Really just go for it, believe in yourself. Fantastic thank you. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe to our future podcasts at soundcloud.com slash take your place or on your favorite podcasting app. You can also find us on Instagram where we are at take your place underscore HE on Twitter at take your place HE and on Facebook at facebook.com slash take your place HE. You can also email us with any questions, requests or just to let us know what you think on info at takeyourplace.ac.uk.